I'm Kate Neville. I'm the vice chair of the Chicago chapter of Women in Bio. Uh, Women in Bio is an organization um, focused on women entrepreneurs and career development for women in the life sciences industry. I'm here in the BioBuzz Center with Rachel King, uh, CEO of Glycomimetics and recently named chair of Bio. So congratulations, Thank Rachel. You. Thank um, you. It was announced yesterday that you are the new chair of Bio. Uh, where do you see Bio going in the next year? What are your priorities? Well, I think the main goal that we have to have in an overarching sense is to protect and even enhance, if we can, the climate that supports the kind of innovation that we do. And there are a lot of different things that we need to do to, um, to achieve that, but I would say it really comes down to three things. The first is communication. We've got to really get our story out. We've got a great story to tell. We need to tell it. Second is we need to continue to work for a strong and flexible FDA that's going to help us to get the products to patients who can, who can really benefit from them. And the third is that we've got to protect the financial incentives so that people continue to make the risky investments that we need in order to deliver the innovation that we do in biotechnology. Great, I'm looking forward to those. Great. Um, so you've worked in several different companies in several different positions. Uh, how has the transition been? Can you, you know, tell us about your transition from one position to another? Yeah. Yeah, I have done a lot of different things in different aspects of biotechnology, and I think now running a, a small biotech company, really you have to do a little bit of everything. So having done some of those things in the past really does help. I did work a little bit in venture capital. That helps with the raising money that we have to do. And I did work some with a large pharma company at Novartis. That helps in terms of the perspective on partnering. But really you have to be able to roll up your sleeves and do any, anything that needs to be done in an in a early stage company. And so I think the experience of having done a lot of those things is really helpful. That's good. Good advice to someone yeah. got to get your hands dirty. So what are the most exciting changes you've seen in the industry in the recent years? And what do you feel women's role in that change and going forward is? Yeah. I think overall one of the really exciting things is that we've really been able to see, we have, we've seen some really tangible benefits that have been delivered by biotechnology. We've seen a lot of patients who have benefited, I know patients who probably do too, who have benefited from the, um, the products that our industry has delivered. So I think the fact that we're delivering meaningful innovations, that's what's really most exciting to me about, let's say, the past 10 years. Um, as far as women in biotech, I do think the number of women has increased. I don't have the numbers for that, but I can feel it and see it when I look around. And I think that's exciting. I think it's a great industry for women to work in. It's a great industry for men to work in also, but um, you know, full of people who are creative and, and dedicated and working on really important problems. So a great, great place for, for women. What advice would you give to women looking to advance their careers and move into leadership roles? Yeah. I think the best thing that anyone can do is to try to work in a place where you know you can learn from people who you admire and who you can learn from. You know, so I think choosing the environment and choosing the people that you work for is really critical uh, because those are the people that are going to be teaching you and that would be able to help you as your career advances. So I would say choose the people and if you can, choose an area that really interests you where you're excited to get up in the morning and go to work. Those two things I think are probably the, the best advice I'd give to someone wanting to go into biotechnology. That's great advice. Um, Rachel, I want to thank you very much for your time uh, talking to Women in Bio. Good luck with your chairmanship and uh, great. See you well, soon. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah.